you guys put all these squashes on here and then you were like, this is an option? Because this isn't even close to a squash. Well, you so don't know why the is name. She's so mad. I don't even she's know so its mad. name. <laughs> hey guys, it's me, Jasmine. I know I'm usually on the other side of these challenges, but today I'm giving Katie a taste of her own medicine. I've been planning every detail of this since the last episode. We even had her film her intro that she usually does for these videos. If this is your first time here, we take a recipe, we put it through Google Translate. For example, we go from English to Vietnamese to Haitian Creole, to Croatian, to Finnish, and a bunch of other languages, and finally back to English to give us this hilariously altered recipe. Now, this is the part where she's gonna like give me the recipe and she has no idea what's coming, so let's go. Are you ready? I'm so scared. Okay, new recipe. It's gonna be a fun one. What? Actually. Today's what? your turn. No! What? Kelly, what? No! <laughs> what? Thanks, guys. Thanks. This is your fault. You started. You started it. You, you started. No, you, start, you started. You started. They wrote the comment. It's my fault. <laughs> I deserve this. I deserve it. Okay. Can I look? Whenever you're ready. All right. Lala Glory. <laughs> I like how powerful this sounds. And musical. Lala Glory. Okay. First step of Lala Glory. Peel one pound squash then small shape. Sorry, this is hard. Oh my God, how did you not laugh? I don't know. Okay, I see a lot of squash. What is this? Is this a coconut? Like a tiny coconut? Oh my God. Uh, there's so many squashes on the table. <laughs> and then there's this thing I don't know. I'm gonna open it up just to see what it is. Should I not eat this raw? No, no! Am I gonna die? <laughs> is this taro? No, what? <laughs> How do you do this, Jasmine? There's squash. I'm just like, I'm drawn to the spaghetti squash. Kelly <laughs> just looked at me. <laughs> do not. I haven't even done step one yet. I'm gonna peel this. Do I do a pound of these and then dice it? I was working with something I've never worked with before. I'm like, oy, oy, oy. did I choose wrong? Well, if I leave these brown spots, will I die? No. Okay. Hey, she was gonna well, die. Well, don't, just let me know we're not gonna <laughs> die, okay? I'm dicing it to make them small shape. I'm just gonna keep cutting and peeling and the chopping until I get a pound. So I have a pound, I have rinsed them. I'm gonna move on to the next step. Step two, sauna facial. <laughs> you jerk. <laughs> sauna facial for about 40 minutes until the vegetation is widespread. Press to sticky to sticky. Avoid leaving adults. <laughs> Come on. Ay, 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 ay. Sauna facials, steam, steam, and we're steaming them. We're steaming it, we're steaming it. <laughs> Who are you? We don't know this, Katie. <laughs> this is the Katie that wants to get it right, but is also so terrified she's making every wrong. <laughs> she just laughs to encourage herself. Um, there's no water. Oh, there is water. Put in the water. I'm giving myself a root facial, because this is some kind of root, I think. <laughs> Did it just go in the water? <laughs> I'm putting it in the water because I don't think that it's in a basket. Like potatoes. We're gonna do this till it's it's tender and then drain the water. Is that the adults? The adults is the water. I'm just gonna boil it and then I'm gonna touch it when it's soft. <laughs> Why did you say it like that? I'm gonna take a look. We've waited 40 minutes. Let's see if they're soft. Yep, okay, they're nice and soft like a mashed potato. <laughs> I'm gonna strain this guy. Sauna facial right now. It's getting kind of purple. So I'm gonna add this to a bowl. It said leaving no adults behind. I am just gonna mash it. It said press the sticky to the sticky. So I think press the sticky to the sticky and then leave no lumps. It's gonna be super smooth. Guess what I see? I see a potato masher. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling like this is the way I should be going. This smells good. Step three, add half a teaspoon salt half a cup sugar, third cup grease, and stir fantastic. It is fantastic. It's just so good. It's such a confident recipe, and I feel like I need to take its confidence. <laughs> I think that half a teaspoon of salt seems right, because, you know, it's not too much salt. Half a cup of sugar, oh. I'm gonna go granulated sugar. I just feel like with this, I wouldn't want powdered sugar, and it would be very, like, dry. <laughs> It would make your mouth go, you know what I'm 
Okay, and then a third cup grease. Is it just oil? Oh, not olive oil. Not gonna bake with olive oil. It has too much of a flavor. I think it's vegetable oil, or is it butter? It's fantastic. Butter would be fantastic. <laughs> I think it's vegetable oil. That's a third cup. This kind of seems almost too oily now. Oh God, did I make a wrong turn? The oil seems really wrong. It seems like it should have been butter. It seems like butter would have been fantastic. <laughs> Step four, add flour medium heat in those 15 days, however bread. Grab the cup and hide. <laughs> What am I reading? Oh, am I gonna put this over heat and it's gonna be like a like a shoe pastry? And then grab the cup and hide it? Remove it from the heat. Oh no. There's cornstarch here. Oh well, that's like a flour, sort of. There's tapioca flour, you guys. This is <laughs> I'm gonna put this in first. Don't even know what flour I'm gonna do. With it getting hot, I'll just have to make a decision and that's what I'll do. Okay. What if this? is the flour. The mixture is the flour, and I don't add flour, and I cook off the moisture like you would a shoe pastry. I'm not gonna add anything, not cornstarch, not flour. Cook this until a lot of the moisture is gone, and it's a kind of a stickier, more like a dough texture, and that's my bread. So 15 minutes, I'm gonna say, because 15 days seems too long. Yeah, I don't wanna stay here for 15 days. <laughs> this guy is looking Pretty much like a mash. We've got most of the moisture out and it's pretty thick. So now I'm gonna set this aside and move on to the next step. Step five, prepare the dough white. Two cup flour, half a teaspoon salt, a quarter cup sugar, the okay whole. In order to be fulfilled, two cup flour. I don't think I can go wrong with doing normal flour. Boom, two cup flour, half a teaspoon salt, that seems right, and then a quarter cup sugar. I think granulated sugar, because powdered sugar, I don't know, I don't bake with it in my, my doughs very often. Quarter cup, a quarter mm -hmm. cup sugar. Let me just mix this together. Maybe okay the whole is mixing it? Step six, add a quarter cup coconut and a quarter cup water. Stir, stir. When the pasta withers, add water at once so the dough comes mingling. Briefly recommend the competition. Is there a coconut? Oh, there's coconut cream. There's coconut milk. Coconut oil. Oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God. There's so many options right now, I have to just ah. I'm gonna use the oil. Jasmine, how did you do this ever and be okay at the end of this? This is traumatizing. Who said I was okay after? <laughs> I'm traumatized. <laughs> Who said I didn't cry on the way home? You always did so well though. <laughs> it's less about the result, you know? It's about the journey. It's about the journey, the journey. It's about the journey. Boom, just gonna go full tilt. I don't like the water going in, I don't like it. Guys, when the pot, add water at once so the dough is, comes a mingling. I guess you add water to pasta dough. But this isn't pasta dough. Okay, and then I stir, stir, stir. If it's not wet enough, when the pasta withers, add water at once. I don't know if you have to add it so quickly. The dough is mingling, so it becomes friendly with itself. This is too dry, so I'm gonna add a little bit of water. Maybe it is a savory dish with and the mash root was, oh my God, am I making stuffed ravioli with like, and now I've, this is what I've done, and I put coconut oil in this? Is that what's happening? <laughs> So I'm gonna wrap it in saran and let it briefly recommend the competition. I'm gonna briefly let it rest and move on to the next step. Step seven, make a bright bread. Connect you one and a quarter cup flour and half a teaspoon salt in a separate bowl. Separate plate. I'm gonna just do tapioca flour. I'm gonna do a quarter cup of it. And then we w I'll find out shortly if, if this was a huge mistake. Half a teaspoon salt. In a separate bowl, separate plate. I need to do more, I need to do a lot more. I think, should it be powdered sugar? What the hell am I making? Step eight, add six tablespoons of melted abbreviated form and one tablespoon oil vegetable oil, red purple, nope, oh, red food purple food. <laughs> this is not right. It could be. I don't have experience making bread with tapioca flour. It could be good, it could be bad. I'm gonna go for it, because I've already started, so. I'm just gonna keep going. So add six tablespoons of melted abbreviated form and one tablespoon oil, vegetable oil. Is it six tablespoons butter and then one tablespoon shortening or vegetable oil? I'm gonna go melt this and I'll be right back. Six tablespoons melted butter. You know, you can't go wrong with butter. Even if I'm wrong, it feels right. I am gonna do a tablespoon of shortening. Okay, red purple food coloring. Ah, ah, ah. 
colors, okay. Taro bread is purple. If I'm thinking purple desserts, like I'm gonna go with purple because I'm worried about adding the red and making it too dark. Well, my mess, I'm gonna just mix this together. Sorry, I'm gonna go gently, gently. I'm nervous, I'm so nervous, guys. It's pretty, I mean, I like purple anyways. And purple is my mom's favorite color. It's my favorite color too. Purple's your favorite color? Mm -hmm. This is strange, but exciting. Okay, let's keep going with La La Glory. Step nine, split the dough into 10 equal parts and sleep for 20 seconds in dial. <laughs> 10 equal parts. I'm gonna just make it like a log and then cut it into 10 pieces. What am I making? This is like the texture of what this is. Like I, I don't. Maybe it's right, but I think I've really, I've really done it bad. And then let these rest is what I think, but I don't know why we would let them rest. I think just rest for 20 minutes. Step 10. Phone a temperature of 350 table. Okay, I think that is bake at 350 degrees, but I do not know how long. Preheat a temperature at 350, but I don't bake anything yet. Yes, I'm gonna go with preheated oven at 350. Oh, perfect. Yup, okay, great, let's keep going. Step 11, roll a piece of white flour into a ball and press down to get real round. The purple substance is wrapped as a ball. Don't forget to seal. Oh, 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 flour, this guy. I think this is the dough. I'm gonna separate this into 10 equal parts. Great, okay, I don't want these to dry out, I think. So I'm gonna, I don't, and it's like how round, just I guess enough to wrap around these balls I've made and wrap that into a ball. Don't forget to seal, seal, seal. Seal this in? Am I making a dumpling? <laughs> this is not a thing that is a thing. That's so cute. It's cute, it's cute. It looks almost like a pierogi. Can I do one more? Let me do another one. This is not real round. The only thing is like, why would they want it to be real round and then I make it like that? I guess because that's like a half moon. <sighs> Stuff it. I could make one that's like sealed like a ball and pinched at the top like a dumpling. What if I just do all different shapes and then? <laughs> what do you like better? Uh-uh. <laughs> you know what this is? Oh my God. <laughs> Don't look at her. Don't look at her. Don't look All at right, her. I'm just gonna go buns because they're cuter to me right now. That's what I'm doing. I'm gonna make 10 of these little puppies. All right, step 12. Throw the ball of flour into a long oval and then press it into a spiral. Throw the, throw the ball. <laughs> throw the flour. Throw maybe is press into a long oval and then press into a spiral. Oh wait, okay, oh wait, oh wait, okay, 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 oh wait, okay, okay, oh wait. <laughs> I'm scared. Okay, a spiral. So then I'm thinking, I'm making like a lot, I'm making it, I'm gonna roll it up roll into a spiral. Why am I doing that? <laughs> There's no confidence here. Is that a spiral? Great, okay. Okay, so do I, I'm just gonna repeat this 10 times. <laughs> and then I'll move on to the next step. Step 13, turn the dough 90 degree again and again. I left a seam at the bottom. <laughs> Lala Glory has, has a personality, like there's a word. <laughs> I left a seam at the bottom. <laughs> Lala Glory is here. Okay, uh, turn the dough 90 degrees and again. At like a right angle, but leave the seam at the bottom. Turn the 90 degrees. Uh -huh. It was very bad at geometry. 90 degrees? It's a right angle, right? 90 degrees. That was like 145, just FYI. That's like a good one. <laughs> Step 14. Turn it up to swirl to repeat, and two become two pieces of dough. What is going on here? What if 90 degrees is like doing this? And then turn it to up to swirl and repeat. I feel like maybe like maybe you're supposed to spiral it and then fold it and then leave a seam at the bottom? Don't you feel like you're like blacking out? Yeah, I feel like I'm blacking out. I'm like, I now. <laughs> Step 16, to add a tablespoon of the city from the mingling of the leaven out of the midst of the taro pace. I'm always around and closed. It is a poem. I think I'm gonna take a tablespoon. So this is taro, I think. Was I, I think I'm right. I think in the city mingling, I'm gonna roll it up into a ball. We're always around and closed. I find myself. <laughs> I don't know if this is right, but these guys are really cute. Time to move on to the last step. Step 17, place membrane on trophy plate only when they humbly twirl and boil for 30 minutes. Boil or bake? Oh, I preheated the oven at 350 degrees. I'm gonna bake these guys. Oh, 
do they go together? Do they touch? Do they, are they friends? I'm gonna go babies for 30 minutes. Or I'm gonna check them and make sure that they're brown. They're not brown? How do you know when these are done? Okay, the babies are out of the oven. They look interesting. <laughs> like they look good, but they just look a little strange. A little too hard. Let's read the last step. Step 18, give permission to new cookies and have fun alone. <laughs> what was the line before? Enjoy one, have fun alone. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna plate these guys. I'm assuming these are the cookies. I'm giving them permission and alone. I'm gonna eat these by myself. Okay, la la glory. Ah! I wanna see what uh, this should have looked like. La la glory is coming in, in its original form. All right, open your eyes. <laughs> they're just, they're so much better. The spiral, it's a real spiral. How did they get that? Hey, they kind of feel about the same. These are so much cuter. It's okay, Lala Glory. They're so pretty. I love the spirals. Is it taro? It's a thousand layer taro mooncake. Okay, I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try one, let me see. Are you okay? It doesn't look bad, it looks pretty delicious. There's so much stuff on the flour. There's no moisture left in my mouth. <laughs> Oh my God. It's like sweet and it's not like terrible, but it's just so much starch. Mmm, but the filling is good. Let me taste how it should really taste. Oh, these are just so much smaller too. Much better. I'm gonna come taste it. Yeah, you can come try one. It's good, what are you talking about? Oh, you know it has so much starch around it. Don't lie. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly, did you just bite that? You can't chew, it's it's like taking all the moisture. <laughs> I'm like choking. This is not good. <laughs> I also still have the recipe we were supposed to do today. So Jasmine, you're gonna get back in the hot seat. Keep leaving us comments and letting us know how else you want us to <laughs> make Jasmine's life miserable and not mine. All right, bye guys. Bye. bye.